Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 55 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net program tutorials and today we're going to quickly cover modules and what they do what they are stuff like that so um, yeah let's continue alright so make a new project and we'll just call it using modules now the first thing I want to say is please do not get confused with modules and classes I will cover what a class is and how to how to use classes in probably the next tutorial but this tutorial is just going over what a module is and basically a module um, is just used to like store functions and subs and even variables so you know let's say you have a really complicated application and you've got a lot of stuff there a lot of mod a lot, sorry a lot of um, subs a lot of functions a lot of variables and you know you can't just store that in your main class you can use modules to separate them, like functions that do this, functions that do this, subs that do this, etc. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to add a module, how to access the members of that module. And okay, yeah. So, what we're going to do is create like a sort of a calculator, but that's besides the point. We're not really stepping back with here because this is not really the tutorial. Like, it's not about how to create a calculator; it's how to use a module so just add um, one button and put calculate and what we want to do is have two text boxes for two numbers and then one text box for the outcome so add first of all add two text boxes and then add a label and on that label just put total And once again, add another text box. Let's try and make this a bit neat, sorry. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush. So, the two numbers we will add together will be up here, and then the total will be displayed in here. Okay, it's not the best calculator I've ever seen, but, you know, just for the purpose of doing this tutorial. So, um, what we're going to do is create a function that will add two numbers together and then the total will be displayed here. So what we normally do is just, you know, go into our our code here and just create a, a function up here. But what I want to do today is add a module and then hold that function in that module and then access it in this class. So right click up here, your um, project name. If you're using Visual Basic 2008, it might be a little bit different for you, but um, you know, just try and follow along. Just go to right click and go to add, and then go to module. And I'm going to call it functions.vb. Okay, and here you will just be presented with another coding window. Now, all of the functions and subs and variables will be held in between module and then a name and then m module. So, what we want to do is create a function, and I'm going to I'm going to first of all create a private function. So I'm going to say private function add numbers and then by val number one. Whoops, spelled that wrong. Number one as integer and whoops, by val number two as integer. Now, if you don't know what we're doing here, you should watch the tutorials on functions and by val and by ref. But um, basically, all we're doing is creating a function and then it adds the just um, specify the numbers in brackets because we're taking this we're basically declaring a variable inside this function okay so what we're going to do is return number one plus number two and all that's going to do is add the two numbers together okay so we have our, our function inside the module here and that should work in here right so if we go into here and we say button one the click we're going to add numbers and in brackets number one Sorry, in textbox one dot text and textbox two dot text, but you'll notice we'll get an error, and it's, it doesn't know that add numbers is declared, but we've declared it in our module. Now, even though the members of the module are shared, we still need to de declare the functions and variables as public. So where it says prob here, it's a quick fix. Just put public, public function. Now this function is able to be accessed in this class and anywhere else in your application and any other classes any other forms whatever you want and you'll go back to here and you'll notice that this has now changed and it works 
So let's just test this out. And whoops, sorry about that. We'll just add together five and ten. Oh, sorry, whoops, um, I forgot. Need to let's see text box three dot text equals. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired right now. Um, we'll return that value to text box three dot text. We'll add fifty and one hundred and twenty, I'd say. And you'll see the answer is 170. And you can see that works now. And we don't have to have this big messy long code function here. We can just hold it right in here in our module. So um, let's say we want to declare a variable in this module. And let's just declare um, blah as integer equals 10. And declare blah2 as integer equals 20. And then we'll go into form one, and let's see. We'll just replace this here, whoops, with blah and blah two. And you'll notice again that it's saying blah is not declared and blah two is not declared. But why is that? We declared it in our module. Well, all you do to declare a variable <coughs> in your module is to um, replace the dim with public, and that's going to declare this these um, variables publicly so they can be accessed in this class in any other class and then you'll notice that the and we declare that it's 10 and 20 let's um, give it a try and 30 10 plus 20 so um, yeah that's it that's it done so basically um, you know just trying to in conclusion modules are just a way to store information like variables or functions or subs and the different classes in that that's what's the best way to explain this um, all the members of a module are shared even though we have to declare them like publicly and there's no there's no no constructor so like in a class where you can create instances of that class in a module you can only you can't create an instance of this class this is just I mean you can't create an instance of the module this is just the module so all the information is basically just a way of storing functions and variables and subs and stuff like that so um, yeah I hope that cleared up what a module is to you guys and if you didn't understand that bit about instances and, and stuff like that about classes don't worry you don't have to understand it right now but you will in the next tutorial when I cover what a class is so um, yeah that's all I wanted to say in this tutorial um, oh, and by the way, one more thing. Um, also, with modules, you don't have to use the um, the prefix. So, let's say we want to let's go here and let's say this is the another calculate button. Just ignore this for now. You don't have to say like functions dot add numbers. You can just use add numbers like message box dot show add numbers and then in brackets textbox one dot the text and textbox two dot text that would be the same as doing whoops uh, message message box dot show um functions dot add numbers textbox one dot text and textbox two dot text so like let's just test this out um fifty and two and you see 52 and 52. So you don't have to use the prefix this here. You just have to use add numbers because you know that's the all the things and the members of the module are shared throughout the, um, throughout the whole application. So yeah, that's all really, guys. I, I didn't really plan this tutorial at all because I'm I'm rushing it a bit. So I've got stuff to do. But um, yeah, that's what a module is, and I'll cover classes in a much more detailed way and show you guys about classes and stuff. And that will be the next tutorial. But um yeah. This tutorial is something I probably should have covered a long time ago, but you know, just kind of forgot about this. Like I uh, expected you guys to automatically know like all the basics and stuff like that. But you know, when I start making C sharp tutorials, I'll go over everything in a much, you know, I've I haven't I've used a hindsight like of my VB.net tutorials, so I know like what I've done wrong. Uh, my C sharp tutorials will be a lot better, but you know. Um, whatever, subscribe, comment, rate, I'll see you guys, peace.